Okay guys, welcome back to my retro game shelf and what you just saw was a very sped up version of me building this. Well, not building it, putting everything on it. It took just over an hour to do and I cut that down into three minutes and that's what you saw. Well, I'm guessing I cut it down into three minutes. It might be more, it might be less. I'm recording this before I edit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is move the camera around on the tripod get it all set up and then show you around what I've done ok I'm going to start with this end with the Mega Drive because it's still in the same position as it was on the last stand I've got a light here to light stuff up, let's move that out of the way there we go, so we've got the Mega Drive first because it's the Mega Drive, it's got to be first number one then this was the tricky bit for me I, I originally, because I put the two Nintendo consoles the Super Nintendo and the Wii in last but I was doing things from this end so first of all I put the PlayStation 3 in where the Xbox is now then I decided to swap it round I can't remember why I decided oh, yeah because of the massive box that's on the power cable here I decided to put that this end so it'd be out of the way so that's on the end the Xbox 360 then you got the PS3 then you got the PS2. Can't really see that. I will go in for a closer look. Then, then I decided to do the Dreamcast, and I put it down there, and I put the Saturn next to it. Then I put the Mega Drive in. Then I remembered that I got these two consoles, which I hardly ever use, so I put them up there. But then I realised that I still they will be used l less than all the others. So I moved them down and I moved these two up, which required loads of cables being removed and ordered round and stuff. So then I got my DVR, which is reading the wrong time. It's still an hour fast. I never put it back when the clocks back or forward, or when the clocks change, the daylight savings. I never changed it, but I'm used to it now. I just see that time, take an hour off it. That's what time it is. We got my Cyclone two. TV of course, and speakers. Right, now I'll get the camera off the tripod and show you around. Mega Drive and the Mega CD. This is the custom Mega Drive with the switches on the back. As you can see there, that's the one the switches on the back. Now, the one that came with the Mega CD is over here, there, and I might replace that one with the other one because this one even the work on the cartridge slot is very shoddy you can't really see it there but trust me it is look how dusty it is yes I will clean that don't worry because this table has got all these bars here I've got these cable ties and tied them round the back so the Mega Drive is plugged in it's just sort of wrapped around the back it's plugged directly into SCART very clear picture. Then next with the Super Nintendo these cables are all wrapped around the uh, both these cables are the Super Nintendo cables because the length of the cables on that box is ridiculously long it's like they want you to plug it in next door and use next door's power. Then above it we got the Sega Saturn all these cables well these cables are for oh yeah Sega Saturn I wasn't really showing it then these cables are for the Mega Drive because the cable on what on the Mega Drive's power supply is extremely long compared to the one for the Mega CD, so yeah, that's the Mega Drive power cable. Now if we head around the other side, bring the light with us. And these cable ties are the reason I was on the floor so much when I was putting it all together. As you can see the Wii cables are wrapped around. Because the cable on the Wii and the Super Nintendo seems to be extremely long like they want you to put it in a different room when you're playing it not sure what it is for Nintendo and all this it's like the cable on the sensor bar is really long as well and that's the Wii plugged in and moving on up the Dreamcast the cables I've got for the Dreamcast are fairly short so no bother with the Dreamcast just plug directly into the uh, 
switches on the back of the TV and into the plug sockets. Then you've got the PS2. This is the sideways shot, PS2. Um, because this is a fat PS2, which some of you may wonder how it got here, it will be included in this month's pickups video along with the PS3 because they were both required in December, well, for which I haven't done a pickups video yet. And I've got work the rest of the week, so it will be sometime during the week. But because of the aforementioned daylight savings times, it gets stupidly dark at about four o'clock, so that'll be coming sometime later on in the week. But yeah, PS2. Power supplies inside, as you all know, so it's plugged directly into the sockets and directly into the switches in the back of the TV. PS3, big fat version with backwards compatibility. Those of you who've been following me on Twitter or know me will know that I've been wanting this model PS3 for a very long time because it has backwards compatibility. With that being said, it doesn't work with a lot of games, which are most games, but a lot of games it doesn't work with, but this is an extremely good console and in my opinion it's better than the Xbox 360. Since I've owned this I've enjoyed playing it more and found it more user friendly than the Xbox 360. The interface on this, the cross media bar is lovely! And then you've got the big fat ass Xbox 360. It's white, I want a black cover for this. At least a black faceplate, at best an entire black case, same as I'm looking to get somebody to paint the Super Nintendo black, but this needs to be black. But yeah, Xbox, what can I say, the power cable, but it's big fat ass bricks that's, not sure if you can see it, it's down there, can't get a view through there, but yeah. Xbox 360, we all know what this is like, it's crap basically. Then we've got the Summer Vision Side Clone 3. Two plus, not three. What does this do? Right, what this thing does. Yeah, it'll be a, there we go. Show off the dust with this light. Right, what this thing does is it reads data from whatever storage device you've got plugged into the USB port or the SD card slot. And this happens to be a I think this isn't 4 gig USB stick, so there's not much on it, but what this does is it, it's basically a USB player. It plays movies. Why is that a face camera? Why do you see that as a face? Anyway, yeah, it plays movies. It's a very good piece of kit. And I quite enjoy it. So if you're one who likes to download films, then you can watch them on the big screen using one of these. And they're not very expensive either. The only problem is it's extremely light and if the cables are bent a little bit then it does affect how it sits. The only problem with it, well I'll put that in later. DVR, it's only plugged into the sockets. I use it as a clock. It hasn't been plugged into the TV for a long time now. Because since I got this, it hasn't been plugged into the TV. Because I haven't been really recording any game footage. And you got the... Uh, box standard speakers. If we move around to the back and take the light with us. Got my switches still on the back. Now because things have all been changed around differently, a lot of these aren't being used. The only thing I've got plugged into the switch uh, this switch at the moment is a Super Nintendo because I'm getting rid of the Retron 3 and the Mega Drive is plugged in through Superior SCART. And in this one we've got the Dreamcast. This is, I still haven't got around to getting a PC, uh, RGB PC sort of thing converter, which would go into there. So once I get that, then this will not be used with the Dreamcast. Uh, PS2 plugged into that. Offers an okay picture. Saturn plugged into there. Saturn offers a pretty good picture to be honest. And that one is plugged into there. Sorry, that one is plugged into there. This one is not plugged in at all. Where is the cable for that one? Oh, I know what I've done with it. Oh, that's... Shit. I messed this stuff up. 
to get it out of the way while I was moving the TV, I plugged it into there, but I don't really use it because it's only the Super Nintendo plugged into it and I hardly ever use that. Then we've got the Wii plugged in, do the component cables. Got HDMI 1, which is the 360, HDMI 2, PS3, HDMI 3, which is the Cyclone 2, and then you got the Had uh, speakers plugged into there. I was just thinking because there's a jack there as well. That says it's for HDMI 1 audio. I'm going to try to plug this into there see if it sounds any better. Because the audio from the Xbox isn't the best, to be honest. Right, and that's pretty much it, to be honest. Got the sensor bar on top, of course. Nowhere for it to go underneath. And I tried to make the cables look a bit better than they did before, but it's impossible with cables. Because either cables are either too long, too short, too fat, too thin. So yeah. New TV stand. Everything fits in lovely. This TV stand is called Verona Black. And you can get it from Argos and it's $49.99. It's a bit cheap for the price. No screws involved, just these plastic things hold stuff on. And the reason I got this one is because Martin from Retro Retro Game Tech, yeah that's it, Retro Game Tech has this table with all his consoles on, except he has the beach version which is like a sort of light wood with a fake silver finish on these. And I got the black one to match all the black consoles except for that damn thing and this damn thing which will need to be made black. So yeah, that's it. Oh, and if you're wondering where to get those cable ties that I've used around the legs, you can get them in bundles. I think I got this from... I think it's the one. Maplin I got it from. But yeah, you can get it from pretty much any DIY store that does cabling and stuff like that. So if you've got like a home base Maplin, of course, then yeah, you can buy them in bulk. This was, it says, no, it doesn't say, but it wasn't particularly expensive and they are extremely useful, these, for keeping cables out of the way, tied up. So yeah, can't recommend those enough. And that's it, that's my setup. I still haven't tested any, anything out, so... I'll put the camera on the tripod and go test all the consoles, see what they're doing. Okay, so we're facing the TV. Hey, it's me! Hi! Right, let's turn this on. Get that light off and all. This has got autofocuses on, so hopefully all... that's okay. Right, let's turn the 360 on. It's not as loud on that side. Standing up, it's not as loud. Oh, no sound. Let's take that out and then stick it back in the side. This thing doesn't have to take long to start up compared to the PS3. I did notice that as well. So we're going to test it, see if it looks alright. Right, now let's turn the PS3 on. Switch, HDMI 2. I need to set this to manual focus. Starts better 360, very bright. I won't really compensate the screen for it, but let's try again. Oh, I've got loads of stuff to install. What game when I get a video to talk to YouTube with? Quick game Limbo. Should show it off okay?
Yeah, works fine. So let's turn that off. PS2. Yeah, that works fine. Cast. Perfect. Turn the second on. Yep. The has got my actual replay card in. Turn and the second off. And Mega Drive. Oh yes. Got that lovely picture. It's extremely sharp. The only problem is I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but there's a lot of wobbling. Yeah, it looks lovely on the camera to be honest. It looks stunning on the camera. But you can just see it over this end all the stars are all sort of jittering. So I bought uh, the different cables. I bought tons of cables to see if I get, can get a picture that good that doesn't stutter. But now look, but it works. And I'm not going to bother plugging in the Wii or the Super Nintendo because I assume that they will work like the rest of. So yeah. Thanks for sticking with me through this long ass video. And thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the bit at the start where I set all this up. And I'm going to start recording now because my camera is about to run out of battery. And I think I might be filling up the SD card. So thanks for watching. I will be back with a uh, pickups video for December 2012. And I'll see you for that one then. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in a future videos. Toodaloo!